So I've come across a glitch where you can have your own castle archers actually fight on the battlefield. For those of you who aren't aware, the Lava Skin's damage reflect ability affects enemy castle archers and allows you to kill them. And when you kill these enemy castle archers and you're also training archers of your own, you will produce a castle archer which you will be able to control but to a certain extent. And the more castle archers you kill, the more of your own regular archers will become castle archers. In this case, we're going to kill three of them. So we're going to end up producing three of our own castle archers to fight on the battlefield with us. Now, when I say control, I mean this to a very weird extent. If you have your units in defend or in garrison, the castle archer you produce will actually run to the enemy base and he will not stop running. You cannot control these guys to stand with the rest of your army. As you can see, I'm putting these guys in garrison and defense and the castle archer just will not stop moving. Also, when these guys spawn, they run very fast. The only way for you to um, really gain any, any ground to move your archers back is by having a unit in attack. And you can see here, I have the joystick trying to move the archer to the base but I can't move him any further than the point you can see here. And whenever I deselect him, he will continue to run at the enemy base, ultimately suiciding. And if I try to fire while trying to move him back, you can see I can't do it. So the only way for you to actually gain some ground with your uh, uh, archer you're controlling is by putting a unit in attack. This does allow you to do a strange form of backwards kiting as you're going to see here. The units are in attack and you can see I am able to kite backwards with this castle archer and get him away from the enemy units. And the um, this archer does have, he does, he can freeze units, he does have the properties of the ice skin. And what's also strange about these castle archers is they will select their own targets and you will be able to see that shortly. Right now I'm just demonstrating, I'm just showing off how you can backwards kite with the castle archer by having a unit in attack. I do have them in defend now and I was able to G kite a little bit farther but now you can see I can't move anymore. So in order to prevent this guy from dying I have to attack with the rest of my units which should happen about now. All right, so now notice how I'm not moving the joystick to move the archer, but watch how the archer moves on his own. He's actually acting like an actual castle archer and selecting his own targets. So what we have is this castle archer is selecting his own targets while I'm controlling his firing, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. So, um, this does, this glitch can affect your regular archers too. You can actually have regular archers act like castle archers, but not have the castle archer uh, armory set up. Also, what's strange is, you notice right here, um, the castle archer is actually firing on his own. And the way this works is, I have to move up to the enemy statue. As you can see here, when I move close enough to the enemy statue, and position him correctly, the archer will start firing on his own. So what we have here is a self-firing archer that I have the ability to control. And also, when in this position, I cannot move the archers past the enemy statue. They're pretty much stuck here. So again, that's just the weird part about this glitch. And I have tested to see if I can replicate this glitch, and I can replicate it pretty easily. All you need is you need to be able to kill your enemy castle archers. If you kill one of them, you will produce one castle archer. If you kill two, you will produce two, and so on and so forth. So while you're killing your enemy castle archers, you want to have archers of your own training. And the best way for it to work is to summon reinforcements. If you kill castle archers before you summon the reinforcements, you will get these glitched castle archers a lot faster. And um, right here is pretty much some more examples. You can see right here, there's two regular archers who were also running forward. So they were acting like castle archers pretty much. So overall, this glitch is freaking insane. It is, it is possible to replicate. All you have to do is one, 
have the lava skin equipped and basically use it on spiritons because it's the best way for you to kill castle archers without needing a huge army. So you want to be you want to basically harass your enemy into mass garrisoning, but you don't want to have a massive army because if you do too much damage to the statue, you will summon the reinforcements and not kill enemy castle archers in order for you to have this glitch happen. Also, I don't know if this glitch happens on iOS. This is on the Android platform where I'm able to replicate this glitch here. So once you kill any, once you kill enough enemy castle archers and you have archers of your own currently training, you will be able to produce a glitched castle archer as you are able to see here. And you can control him to a certain extent. However, if you have them in garrison or defense and you're not controlling them, they will run past to the enemy base and basically suicide. So yeah, definitely a weird glitch, um, but I think it's pretty freaking cool being able to have essentially your own castle archers to fight on the battlefield with you and they even select their own targets even while you're usually controlling them. And also what you noticed there was one of their archers sitting like a castle archer, but he wasn't really doing anything. So yeah, the lava skin definitely uh, creates some crazy glitches here, but I think it's pretty awesome. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, I have shown you how to create this glitch on the Android platform. I don't know if it works on iOS or any other platform. I just know this glitch can be replicated on Android.